Hey, Peter here again from the Tin Man. So, we've got a Harman Absolute 63 tied into a battery backup. This is two 6 volt batteries, and an electrician buddy of mine came in here one day and he looked at the specs on these batteries and he tells me that two 6 volt batteries tied together as 12 volts can make over 40 hours of um, battery power for this um, pellet stove based on the actual amount of output. So just to, to give you some idea of what the stoves generally produce, a uh, pellet stove will actually, when they're running, only produces about 100, 110 watts of power, which is next to nothing. But the igniter itself, the thing that lights the pellets, is 400 watts. So that can use and drain your system. So what I'm going to show you today is if a power goes, we're going to actually light it. So if you can see right here, I'm going to pull the plug. Our battery backup is now working. So our screen is still lit up. And all I'm basically going to do is I'm going to take some of our fire starters. And what I do is I take a couple of these fire starters and I just take one and I cut it in half just to give it a little bit more surface area so I can actually uh, light the thing a little bit quicker. And we're going to go in and we're going to make a couple changes. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So I'm going to take these. You're going to want to kind of, you're going to pre-put some pellets. I already did this before we started the video. So I filled this um, up about half ways in pellets. And all we're simply going to do is I'm going to take a couple of these, or the single one that I cut in half, and we're going to light it. So while I'm lighting this, I'm going to go in back and I'm going to show you what we have to turn our stove on on these new digital controls in order to light those without using the igniter. Okay, so that's lit. Let's get a few pellets over this. I might even sprinkle a few pellets around there. Let's grab a few more. Okay, so what you're going to do is we're going to go in now to our menu, burn mode, constant burn we're going to put it in because the stove is in room sensing. We're going to turn that off. Uh, we're going to go back into our igniter setting. Our igniter, we're going to disable that. So from automatic to disabled, back to our home screen. Now, all we simply have to do right now is once this is done, turn the power on. What that's going to do, it's going to start forcing air up through the burn pot. So as you can see, our combustion blower now is starting to turn. All right, and I'm going to turn our constant feed rate up a bit. And it's telling me a warning the door is open. So I'm going to get it to burn, and I'm going to shut this door. And you can see how it's already starting to take effect. So with this door shut, those pellets are going to light up, and we're going to get a flame. So a little trick or a little... Um, thing to think about with this stove is all these new um, igniters. So this here setting right here, so you see in 74 degrees, that's in Fahrenheit because we have the stove set in Fahrenheit. I do know in Celsius, that temperature there, that's the ESP temperature, that's the temperature that's actually going outside um, in your pipe. So that temperature has to hit 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So, sorry, 60 degrees Celsius. Um, in order for the actual auger motor to start turning. So I'm going to go back into our settings and change that to Celsius so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so right now we're at 26 degrees Celsius. When that hits 60 degrees Celsius, the auger motor will turn. And if you see down here right now, there's no more pellets actually coming into the stove at all. So the, the same pellets, there's, there's nothing moving. The auger's not turning at all. So it has to have heat here in order for the auger to turn. And once that starts going, I'll be back. Okay, so here we go. Uh, roughly about five, six minutes um, this far is lit up and going. Our temperature is now popped up really fast to 82 on our igniter setting there, which is also, like I said, our ESP probe. So a couple things to remember. Pellet quality can um, really affect the way that these stoves work, so or how, how fast they light. So if you have a bad pellet, it may take a little bit more effort in order to get this fire to come up fast and it hits 60 degrees Celsius. 
um, back through the exhaust system. So keep that in mind. Uh, and there's also different methods of doing this. So we use lighting nuggets. Uh, there's lighting gel you can use. Uh, some people, I know some customers, can use. Uh, we'll use little torches, like a little low torch, and get it good and hot and stuff first. Uh, and then the pellets are feeding. As you can see here now, the pellets are feeding in uh, through this fire box, uh, fire pot. So uh, it's pretty neat. So right now the stove is operating on a battery backup, not plugged in. As you can see, our plug is out. And our inverter is now running this stove. So we're going to let this run. We're going to let it run on constant burn for a while just to see how long we get from this system. Hope this helps, guys.